plaintiff, Carol Burris, says her daughter, who's with her in court, was friends with the defendant. However, after Carol had surgery and needed her daughter's attention, the defendant became jealous, angry, and possessive, and even called Carol while she was rehabilitating to say her daughter had relapsed. She's suing for the harassment and alone. Defendant David Van Osteren says he and Carol's daughter were good friends, and he was extremely close with her family. David admits that he called Carol to check on her, but he insists he only mentioned her daughter's relapse because he was concerned. He's countersuing for harassment. Start with you. Your Honor, he was a friend of my daughter's for a long time. It was like a platonic friendship, not boyfriend, girlfriend. And then in January, I had to have knee surgery and I had to go into a convalescent home for a month. And um, I needed my daughter's time and help and attention. And he became very jealous and possessive. He got mean and angry because she wasn't spending time with him. So then he- That's what she told you? Well, he, he called me. He called me on the phone at the nursing home. And said and what? Started harassing me. He said, well, your daughter, she's uh, not sober anymore, which she's two and a half years sober. He said, she, she took some pills. Well, they were pain pills. She took two pain pills, and that was it. And then while on the phone, he starts telling me all derogatory statements about my other family. He, he's texting them. He's practically blowing up the phone. They, they couldn't believe it. Then he started on my grandson, you know, just saying bad things about Raylene. So I just became like a mama pit bull. And I said, I don't need nothing else to do with him. But he did owe me money. <laughs> 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 Sir, you want to start there? It's a fact that Raylene and I have been friends since 1997. I'd moved from San Francisco back to San Diego. And uh, we, were, we lived in a duplex, and so it was pretty easy to get to know your neighbor. Uh, she had dogs. I have dogs. Uh, I also smoke weed. She, at the time, sold weed. So we would stone out together and became friends. This went on for 20-some years, up until present day. I've gone on family outings, family barbecues. I've repaired pieces of furniture at the house. Basically, uh, I, I would consider myself an unborn son of the family, basically. And I've kind, you see kind of a, mother to as a mother somewhat often? The I, see plaintiff. The, I was in the house usually a couple times a week over the okay. past 20 years at least. All right. So this time in the hospital, what happened? Uh, she went to the hospital. She went in the hospital uh, about the same time I did. I had heart failure and stage three renal failure as, as well as the flu, and I got out of the hospital on the 27th of January. Mm -hmm. uh, this is when Raylene picked me up from the hospital, brought me home, and this is when the incident with the Oxycontin took place. We walked in the house and she asked me for some pep in her step, which in our day that re referred to taking Oxycontin. The Oxy my... was a downer. It, it, this is what her words don't mind, so. And it puts a pep in your step, it or does it put a nod in your head? <laughs> <laughs> I thought people it nod out. It's a heroin substitute, huh? It keeps me out of pain. I... Okay, because you said pep. That, these right. are her words, not my words. So I'm just using she her words Maybe she that. don't know what she's using then. Maybe it's cocaine. Because yeah. <laughs> that's what puts a pep in your step. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. Matter, she asked you for no what you, you interpreted it was oxy. And what did you tell her? I told her to go ahead and help herself. She got in the cabinet. She grabbed a couple of them and took them. A few minutes went by, and I thought about it. And I'm like, you know what? You're throwing away two years of sobriety. And so I called her on it. I'm like, why are you wasting all your time of sobriety if you're going to do this? And from that moment on, our relationship changed, period. Did you call her mother? And if so, when? I called her mother while she was in the convalescent. When? Home. After you had gotten out? Yeah, I would have been out of the hospital. And what did you tell her? Uh, I called her to find out how she was and to let her know that her daughter had relapsed. Okay, Correct. and how did that conversation go? She wasn't really happy with it. Uh, she interrupted the phone call with a hang-up. That was, it didn't go really much further than that. She okay, and that, that was she, it? She didn't want to hear these kinds of things, and that was the end of the subject. All right. Yeah. It could've, yes, ma'am, come on up. Yeah. State your name. My name is Raylene Burris. What do you want to tell me about him uh, calling your mother? The, about the harassment. Mm -hmm. um, my mom's a little bit forgetful. She's mm -hmm. an older lady. She terminated the conversation because he was bad-mouthing the entire family. Mm -hmm. And that's not where the harassment ended. 
on the payments that he has made on the loan. I don't know if you okay, you're we're going ready. To talk. We're okay. not there yet. Okay. So okay. we're talking about that first phone call when she was hospitalized. Now let's get to the lawsuit and the loan that you've loaned him. When did you do it and what has happened since that time? Okay. Your Honor, I loaned him. A th I have a evidence here. Here's a promissory in the check. I loaned him $1,500 on January the 3rd with the agreement that that he would pay me back 150 a month starting in February until it was paid off. Well, he didn't pay in February. So far, he has paid me $423. That's all I've gotten. And when and you speak to, go ahead. On the checks, when, when he sent me a check, he would write something uh, mean down. You know, her, it was harassment. Let's see that. Your Honor, may I speak? Yes. On each and every payment that he made, whether they be the proper amount, they were sporadic payments, he made comments that were emotionally distressing to my mom, considered harassing, so harassing that she was embarrassed to take them to the bank to cash. She's obviously been banking at the same bank for years. Um, every, every check he mailed, he put comments on there. Thanks for all the marijuana, Charlie. <laughs> the garage is the perfect hiding spot. God is not the answer. Dog is. Because my mom is a very religious woman. Weed stored in garage. Weed stored in garage. These are all the things you put when you That's were the extent money. of them. Weed stored in garage. What do you have to say to this, sir? Well, I'm going to say to your loan document first, ma'am. The promissory note. Oh, right. Yes, sir. What do you have to say? Well, I'm not going to say I'm proud of the, the, the words I chose on the checks. Uh, but at the same time, I don't think they were harassment of a dark kind. It was a matter of opinion. And we're talking about full disclosure here. Matter of opinion. You got it, that right. It is a matter of opinion. Her, her, right. You know, God is not the answer. Dog is. Did the you reason know she why I didn't go into any further. Be quiet. Thing. Listen. Yes, Did sir. you know she was a spiritual woman? Yes, sir. All right. Good enough. What about the loan? What do you have to say about that? I took a loan from her. Mm -hmm. uh, for the, uh, my car was stolen in December. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Slipped out. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. That slipped. That slipped out. That slipped out. Don't hold that against me. That that, that slipped out. Go That's ahead. Okay, it's okay. I'm a big boy. So your um, car was stolen. Uh -huh. So the car was stolen, and uh, the offer was made for me to borrow some cash from Carol. We have done this in the past. Didn't see much of a problem with it in the future. You I, borrowed money from her in the past? Yes, sir. All right, go ahead. Uh, every month I'd borrow money from Raylene and Peter. Really? Yeah. Every he, month. Are you his borrowed. bank, ma'am? You're his bank? No, he thinks I am. I, I see. He borrowed your from honor. my no, we are oh, best okay. friends, Your Honor. And, we, right. and during We're the course talking of the about month, her mom. We're on a balance, and mm -hmm. she pays for it. In this instance, you borrowed the money from the plaintiff. And what happened? And on February 4th, the date of the first collect, or the day the loan was due, uh, Raylene tracked me down to a friend of mine's house, Alan, and uh, but pushed her way into the house. She I came back to the back of the house, was pretty hostile. She wouldn't let me exit the room and was requesting money be paid immediately. What did your friend do when she burst into your friend's house? Well, first of all, his mom was up in the front room. Uh -huh. She opened the door for her. Mm -hmm. And then when he saw it was her, he waved her back to the back bedroom. Okay. So she was invited into the house. Mm -hmm. But we didn't quite know that she was quite Did you tell her, room. well, this is the first day. I mean, I just... No, that, well, actually, I'd called her the day before, but she had to work late, so mm -hmm. she couldn't get the payments that day. So we made arrangements... You didn't speak with her? Uh, I think I spoke with Raylene. Right. So you told her the day before, I'm going to pay. Yes or no? Yes. And then the next day, she nearly kicked in the door and said, you're going to pay right now. That's exactly that how it came out. All right. And you have something you want to show me uh, that indicates that, obviously. You held that up in the me. air when I was saying that. All right. What is this you're handing me? And you read the pertinent part that That's shows that she kicked in. That's actually a police report from San Diego she... Police Department uh -huh. stating that she came over... Uh, 
to Mr. Uh, Mahan's house uh, to create problems. That no, created... demand the debt be paid that is owed to her mother. That's what you said she came over That's for. What she said. Read that part. I don't know if it's in here, sir. I know. Okay. <laughs> well, the point of this yeah, is... I know. Read it. I read it. Read it if you have it. Otherwise, I don't believe you have it because I don't believe that's what she busted in there for after a day before you told her you were going to pay. The next day, she just lost her mind. I'm just going to come and kick in the door even though you just told me you're going to pay me. The day before, yeah, I'm so Honor. mad within 24 hours, I'm going to kick the door in. I can't wait until tomorrow. <laughs> I got to get it this hour. Well, Your Honor, the week before... How did they harass the house, you, sir? How did they harass you? Pardon she me? She harassed me the day she took home, brought me home from the hospital and took my pills. The mother? I asked, no, the daughter. I asked the daughter Oh, no, well, to. that's who you need to sue. You need to sue the daughter. I'm asking you about the mother. Mother's How did she harass? She didn't? Okay, and that's who your counterclaim is against the mother. So your claim is dismissed. And your loan, ma'am, is granted. Uh, he agrees that he has not repaid your loan in a timely the manner. The loan hasn't matured, by the way. Pardon me? The loan hasn't matured. Oh, and you made every payment on time? According to the way the loan... No, I say, no. did you make every payment on time? Yes. Okay, show me evidence of that. From February, every single month. I wasn't the, able to pay the January, uh, the February. So the answer the is no, you house. didn't pay everything on time. Okay. So you didn't pay everything on time. Okay. All right, judgment for the plaintiff. Have a good day. You knew you weren't going to get a thing because you're judgment proof. Okay, ladies. You've. No problem. Thank you. right Two are the biggest to con artists on earth. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to go right to that door. You, you need to go home and pray to God again. Oh. Go you do too. some more IV drugs. Oh. Don't do drugs, honey. You know that. You need to do some praying. Oh. I'm going to pray for you. God be All right. Yeah. I'm going to piss on her grave is what's going to happen. We're definitely not friends anymore. Definitely not. Won't be. I'm going to be more I've done everything in except who I send all of her house wrapped friends. in white branches and have got nothing but hate back from her. She's a pushy little broad who likes to push people around and get her way. And then He's because of her mother's old and uses religion as a crutch, we knew the defense was going to be the poor little old lady in here. <laughs>